Cloud Endure provides migration and disaster recovery for all applications from any source to any target, utilizing asynchronous block-level continuous replication. This demo is about our disaster recovery or DR solution. This is the dashboard where you can get a crucial at-a-glance view of your entire DR implementation. To get more detailed information, to install new machines, and to run DR drills or failovers, go to the Disaster Recovery page. Here you can see all of your machines or instances that are protected through Cloud Endure, along with their data replication status. In this demo, I've selected on-premise as my source location, so it says generic, and AWS Ireland as my target location. The DR process works exactly the same for all sources and targets, including Azure, Google, VMware, OpenStack, and others. To add a new machine, click More and select Add Instances. Then follow the directions for installing the Cloud Endure agent on either your Linux or Windows machines. Installing this lightweight agent has no system impact and does not require a reboot. For large-scale projects, you can perform a mass unattended installation using CLI or any mass software distribution tool. Here's the new machine. To get a drill down of the installation, just click on it. You can see the progress under Instance Dashboard. First, the handshake between the agent and machine takes place. Then the initial sync begins. Back on the DR page, you can follow the progress of all your machines, including the one we just created. The initial sync of the new machine happens entirely in the background, with no performance impact and no downtime. New data can be entered into the machine at any time and will be synced. In order to keep this demo short, we've fast-forwarded this section. The actual time it took the system to add and sync this new machine was just under 13 minutes, which when compared to other tools for syncing entire workloads is extremely quick. After the initial sync, Cloud Endure only needs to synchronize the deltas, which we do using asynchronous block-level continuous replication. This is how we are able to provide RPOs of seconds. Now let's look at how launching target machines works. For your DR projects, you can launch a target machine by simply clicking Test or Failover. For this demo, in order to explain the DR technology, I'll take you through a few steps before we launch a target machine. Here are the front-end and back-end servers of a WordPress blog. Let's go to the live blog. I'll create a new post with the current time so that we can test if the target machine that we launch in a few minutes indeed spins up the most recent version. My new post has been published. In the background, the Cloud Indoor agent has already recognized the right I.O. operations, captured the blocks, and replicated them asynchronously into a staging area in AWS Ireland the target location that I defined and can see here on the DR page. This lightweight staging area is where Cloud Endure keeps data synced up to the last second and is one of the main ways we're able to provide enterprise-grade disaster recovery while cutting costs by 85% for our customers. We only switch to high-performance compute and storage when launching target machines. Now let's take a look at the machine blueprint. Here you can define exactly how you want machines to be launched, including instance type, target subnet, target security groups, and more. Cloud Endure provides automated orchestration of machines and application stacks, saving you time and preventing costly human errors. Once you've defined your blueprint, go back to the DR page and select the machines you want to launch. Then click the relevant button. For this demo, I'll launch a DR test. Click Continue to get a dialog window that asks if you want to spin up the latest, most up-to-date version of the machines or an earlier version. This point-in-time recovery option is especially critical in cases of database corruptions, accidental system changes, ransomware, or other malicious attacks on your environment. When I click Continue with Test, the machines will be launched and will be converted automatically to AWS running instances. We fast-forwarded the launch of the target machines, but the actual time it took to launch the two target machines for this demo was actually 2 minutes and 43 seconds, an RTO of under 3 minutes. Now let's check that the launched machine is in fact identical to the source machine. To get the IP address of the new target machine, click on it and go to the Target tab. Copy and paste the new IP address into your browser. As you can see, 
The newly spun up machine includes the most recent changes that we made to the source WordPress application just minutes before launching the target. The DR test was indeed successful and the machines are now ready to failover in the event of a disaster. The only technical difference between a test and a failover is that when you click failover, in addition to spinning up machines in the target location, the system prepares the machines for replicating the data back into the source location after a disaster is over. You may be wondering how to return to normal operations after a disaster. To do this, just click the failover button again. This reverses the replication back into the source location. You can fail back to both physical and virtual machines, and you can choose to replicate only the changes made in the cloud during the disaster or to replicate the entire system for a bare metal restore. We hope this demo helped you understand our DR solution and look forward to hearing from you.